as for the Colts today, Megan McEwen was out talking to head coach Frank Reich. He made mention that Andrew Luck is very close to throwing a football again. And it turns out Luck is already rubbing off on some of his new teammates. Here's Megan with that story. With OTAs in the books, the Horseshoe has one final step to complete its offseason program, mandatory minicamp. Really accomplished a lot. I mean, we, we set out, wanted to establish a tempo of what we were doing, wanted to get a good look at our team. We were able to do that. Uh, we wanted to get our base systems in, offense, defense, and special teams. Felt like we accomplished that, and we put a lot of good things on tape. This team, this unit, everyone bonds, everyone talks in the locker room. There's no, there's no groups, there's no, you know, segregating, there's no uh, somebody going here, other people going here. We're all, we're all together. Despite making great strides in the rehab process, Andrew Luck still not throwing a regulation-sized football yet. But even though that's the case, his teammates and coaches are singing his praises, not only with his leadership, but also with his IQ. He's the smartest person on earth. <laughs> Might be the second smartest after whoever created Amazon and Microsoft, Bill Gates. But he's, he's, he's intelligent, man. He knows everything. He asks the questions, and he makes sure everybody else is on the same page and speaks the same language as he does. And that's what we get out of team meeting. And it's really good to know that he talks to us and verbalizes what, he's, what he thinks to us. That way we understand him. You know what? And that is important for that position. And really, though, as an offense, we're, we're, we tell our guys all the time, we're looking not just a quarterback. We all want to play smart. We want to be a smart football team. So it helps when your leader can lead the way in that regard. The wait remains to see if luck will take the field come time for week one. Megan McEwen, Wish TV News 8.